you keeping up at school? If you dropped out, tell me now. If I'm gonna have another heart attack, might as well save myself the trip. <laughs> That's not funny. Too bad the doctors couldn't fix your sense of humor while you were in here. <laughs> nice one. That was good. Thanks. But seriously, you doing all right, bud? I know this has been rough on you kids. I'm okay. Don't worry. I actually just finished a big project that turned out really good. I think you're gonna be proud of me. I'm always proud of you, Max. Don't ever forget that. Oh, it'd be so good to be home. First thing we're doing is ordering pizza from Del Gallo's. I hope you like their salads, because the doctor said you can't have any greasy foods or red meat. What are you still doing here? Don't you have a big dance to get ready for? Yes, but I have to ask the doctor some follow-up questions. But we'll be back tomorrow morning to pick you up and take you home. You have a wonderful time, sweetheart. You deserve it. Thanks for coming over, Con. I really wasn't looking forward to pulling up to thing solo. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. Do you think a tie is too much? Why are you so nervous? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not nervous. Oh, I totally forgot. You're meeting with the mystery woman tonight. So? <laughs> details when, where? We're meeting at the dance. She's going to be wearing a purple scarf. Hmm. I hope you get your own commenting. You deserve it, man. Thanks. You too. Thanks for answering my text. I'm really glad you're here. I was wondering if you wanted to maybe get ready together. I just came to pick up the last of Max's stuff. Vic, wait. Please stay. Why? Was Hillary not available to take photos for you? Forget Hillary. I've missed my best friend. I never ever should have told you to leave. I know it's no excuse, but I was just going through some pretty heavy stuff. What stuff? I have so much to fill you in on. But some things are going to be changing for me soon. And it's just made me realize what's important. What's the point of anything without my best friend? I even picked out some dresses for you. In case you were interested. Oh, no, I, I have one. I just went to the dry cleaners to pick it up. It's my mom's. It's perfect. I love that scarf. Your mom had such great style. I really miss her. Listen, Vic, I know I should have said this a long time ago, but I'm really sorry I wasn't there for you more when everything happened with your mom. Let's not talk about this right now. No, I want to. I know this sounds stupid because I barely remember my parents, but I've been missing my mom a lot lately. And it's just made me realize how hard it must have been for you. It must still be for you. I should have been more present through that. No 13-year-old know how to handle that situation. But you did. You acted so strong for everyone. And I just let myself believe you were okay. I should have been a better friend to you. Wow. Thank you. I didn't realize how much I needed to hear that from you. So, will you stay? Please? I'll even do your makeup. Okay, but... <laughs> Bring it in. And I have to tell you something first. Of course. What is it? The thing is, oh my gosh, I just realized how late it is. I'm so sorry. Can we talk while we get ready? Uh, the dance is about to start and I still have to shower. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Never mind. It's nothing. I have to get ready anyway. Wait, you're not going to wear the scarf? I really liked it. No, it's too much. Go, go take a shower. Fine. Okay. Or just grow, okay. Aw, look at this photo of us. Huh? Yeah, cute. Hey, how's your physical therapy appointments going? Any updates? No, not really. I had to cancel the last few sessions because of conflicts and... Shouldn't your recovery be your main focus right now? It is, but I still have to think about the present. 
I'm super close to landing this brand deal, and Lexi says that- If Lexi says it's okay, then I guess it's okay. I thought we talked about this. I've asked her to start respecting my personal time, and she's done a really good job of not calling me outside of work hours, but I can't not talk to her at all. No, I get it. You gotta, you gotta keep your options open. I get it. Come on, Jordy. Don't be a buzzkill. It's homecoming. And you never look better, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm really rocking this polyester, am I right? <laughs> In every way. So let's enjoy tonight. I'm not gonna think about Lexi or anyone else but you. Hey, Nick. <laughs> you vote for king and queen yet? Not yet, but do you think you and I could be a dark horse? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you vote. If we don't have a large turnout, Lydia and the others will kill me. I'll make sure to do my part. <laughs> Thank you for, you know. You're welcome. I'm sorry I didn't come forward sooner. I, I was just- I know, you're scared. I get it. You doing okay? I think so. But I'm a New Yorker. It takes a lot to get me rattled. <laughs> <laughs> come here. <laughs> Wanna dance? Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did really good at decorating. I know. Oh my gosh! What? What happened? Uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. Wow. You guys look... stunning. Thanks. You clean up pretty well yourself. Um, I, I, um, I, I, I have to use the bathroom. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. What did you vote for? You need a ballot? Oh. Nah, who cares? You okay? I just, dances aren't really my thing. I don't even know why I bombed. You're telling me I'm usually drinking under the bleachers at this point, but I'm trying to reform myself. You wanna get out of here? No thanks. I don't know, maybe? Do you ever feel like your whole life could just either fall into place or come crashing down to pieces? All the time. Uh, but for me, it's usually the latter. Same. I don't know, I just, I thought this time I could just... Never mind. What am I doing? I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. Look, I know you're allergic to opening up to people, but I'm always here to listen. And plus, you like talking to me and care what I think, so... I do not care about what you think. Does that mean the rest is true? I'm good, Nick, but thank you. Now, can I have that back, please? Sure, but first, I need to tell you something. I'd caffeinate if I were you. It's gonna be a long night. If anything happens, the mayor-elect is gonna find a way to blame me. What have you been up to? I got a call from a kid claiming to know what happened to Ivan Adams. The alleged hit and run? Really? Who's the kid? Max Miller. I know him. He's a good kid. Yeah, his work is good, Ma. I mean, he was able to pinpoint the suspect's exact location on the night of August 15th. I mean, according to the location data here, you see that this person was on Route 4 at the same time in the same spot as Ivan was hit. I think Max may have found our guy. So who is it? Connor Royce. Trash it. Erase it. Forget it. Mom. I mean it, me. Mom. 
if this is true, not only was Connor driving drunk enough to hit Ivan, but he also fled Javier, the scene. you will do nothing, okay? This will end your career. It's, it's just that things have been moving so fast all of a sudden. What's wrong? You look so nervous. I, I'm not nervous. You are. You are totally freaking out. Am I? Okay, Ivan, it's, it, it's just that... Is it because of what I said earlier? I thought you wanted to move fast. I did. Well, you don't seem happy to be here with me. What gives? Are you embarrassed because I can't dance? No, I'm embarrassed because I know you can walk. messed up things between us. Let me stop you right there. There's no us to mess up. I know. And even if we're just friends, you're really important to me. And I have a history of self-sabotage and it ruins relationships that are good for me. So I just... Nick, I like you, but we can't go back to how we were. I know. And I know you have your secrets and I know you have your trust issues for good reason. Nick, but... stop psychoanalyzing me, okay? You do not know me. Vic, I know you don't think you're deserving of love because I'm the same way, but you are. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait. How long? How long have you been able to walk? Only a couple weeks. I started getting feeling back shortly after I was discharged. The doctors were so cynical about my recovery that I just... That you just let people keep thinking that you weren't going to get any better? Yeah, God, that's pathetic. You know there's actually people in your situation that may never recover? And you're just making a mockery out of them. Welcome out away to this year's homecoming. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. How long have you known? Why haven't you said anything? I saw you out of your wheelchair on election night. I, I guess I was shocked or something. You know, I don't know, Ivan. If that's even your real name. I can explain everything. See? I time to announce the homecoming court. The ballots are in. Here we go. I totally knew it. And he doesn't even go to Attaway. This year's homecoming kings are Ivan Adams and Jordy Bianco. Congratulations! Connor? You? It's me. I'm Millwood Babe. next time on Juniors. Congratulations, you two! I wasn't expecting to fall in love with you. Why are you messing with me? You played me for a fool. I never meant to deceive you or anyone else. 